Started in the early fall of 2001, No Southern Accent, or better known as NSA, is the University of Florida's first and only co-ed a cappella singing group. The founding members of this prestigious group of gifted individuals had one common goal, to produce music with an undeniable force of skill, range of vocals, and a sound that was unreachable by others. To this day, their goals have held true as NSA has become one of the nation's most recognized a cappella groups winning numerous awards while sweeping the crowds at universities across the country. Aside from these awards, an even more impressive attribute is that NSA is entirely operated and directed by students at UF. At home, NSA participates in local functions such as Soul Fest, Gator Growl, and has many performances at charity events and middle schools. God, 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 God. Our goal was to discover how the arrangements are made or chosen and how the group learns a new arrangement. An arrangement is the art of preparing and adapting an already written composition for presentation in a form other than its original. Arrangements for a cappella singing are typically more complex due to the lack of instrumentation. Next, we have interviewed Christopher Reynes. As the musical director of NSA, he arranges most of the music they perform. He chooses what sets they do in a performance, and he runs a rehearsal. So, what are your first steps in arranging a piece? Well, the first step in arranging a piece is probably listening to the song and going, well, would this translate well to a cappella? Um, you know, there's a difference between uh, an arrangement that is, you know, kind of unique and, you know, an arrangement that is kind of what's a, called a transcription, where basically it's exactly what you hear. Um, so basically you need to listen to it and then kind of decide what direction you want to take. Do you want it to be a transcription or do you want to take it and adapt it kind of and completely change up everything? You know, what's interesting about music is that you can take a song, change the way that it sounds, not change any of the words, and the song has a completely different meaning. Um, Are there times when you need to change the arrangement once you present it to the group and hear how they have reacted to it? Yeah, actually, um, well, because like I said, we're recording an album right now, so Mercy that you just heard, 
um, when we were in the studio, uh, I decided to add a couple more parts to it. Um, just to, you know, something that, you know, it'll never really be heard in performance, but it's something that in a CD will make it pop and will make it sound like it's just a bigger group and it'll make it sound like bigger chords and louder and more powerful. Um, I've taken, you know, a lot of the times we've taken arrangements and being like, like, I'll start singing and I'll be like, well, the syllables were easier for me than it was for them, so let's change that. Let's rework the dynamics or something like that. We don't drastically change them, but we do change those little things that make it easier and make more sense or someone point something out that's hey, why don't we do Um, well, for the most part, NS, um, NSA tends to keep its arrangements like in the family, like, um, you know, most of the time for normal things. Um, right now we're in the process of recording a CD, um, it's putting a nice chunk of change on it. So I've actually pulled in, um, I've used a couple different contacts, one of our alumni, our old musical director, is arranging a couple songs. Um, a, another musical director from another group, uh, old musical director from another group, is arranging a couple songs. He's incredible. He's won, you know, awards. And I, so I pulled in some award-winning arrangers for, we tend to do that for competitions and for CDs and stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, it's the normal day-to-day, -day, you hear our work. This is Nick Parsons, who is the lead percussionist or beatboxer of NSA. Well, um, I was a percussionist in high school, and I, like, I played in a couple bands I did in marching band and stuff, so I, don't know, I, I have a good feel of you know, what kind of styles go with different things. But other than that, it's just improv. Like, I, I change it. If it sounds good, I keep doing it. If it doesn't, I try something else. I don't know, it's, it's just whatever I think complements the music the best. <laughs> Great songs and great arrangements to go along with it. And it's all tied together with a really cool theme. 